Let's do talk now with my guest seated, Al Hassan Suhini is Member of Parliament for Tamale North, and Jure Japamesa is Member of Parliament for Second D. They're my guests this morning here on AM Talk. So good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Why don't I start with you? Because whilst I was uh, reviewing the newspapers this morning, mm. came across this story on myjournline.com, and so we're going to just open it up and read a bit. Kwesi Bocha reports, it's never the case on Manibuama Mount's defense. So uh, my jaw line, uh, or join news if you like, we've laid hands on a few details from these reports. A copy of the Professor Boche Committee report intercepted by Joy News has revealed how vehicles meant for the presidential press corps were not given to them. Former communications minister in the Mahaman administration has denied claims that vehicles intended for the press corps were not given to them. Dr. Manibu Amar said he has absolutely no idea about claims in the Kwesi Boche report in intercepted by Joy News. But the report stated that only four out of the 34 members of the presidential press corps were given vehicles from a pool of about 200 vehicles available for distribution to the press corps and others. Uh, Dr. Buama, whose name was linked to several allegations in the report, doubted the authenticity of the report, portions of which was read out on Joy FM. He maintained that the party has not officially released the document, arguably the most coveted political report in the country. Uh, and the story goes on and on and on and on. Uh, but according to the report, the committee's engagement with a section of the press provided a window into the states of the party's relations with the media. The following is a sampling of their views. So all published here uh, as contained in the Kwesi Boche report. Now, if you look at the Daily Guide newspaper, it's also it's been serializing some of the content of the Kwesi Boche report. But we want to start with what Joy News uh, has put out today about vehicles that were allegedly supposed to have gone to some newsmen that ended up with only four. What do you know about it? Well, um, thank you very much. I uh, told my viewers you were going to give us names. Uh, good morning to uh, you. Good morning to my honorable colleague. Good and morning. Then good morning to our viewers. Um, it's always a pleasure to be on this platform. Um, I had you uh, say before we came on set that I had the You said you're going to give us some details. And uh, I chuckled uh, because it was a very good way uh, of getting your viewers to stay on. Oh. And I'm happy that we have... Uh, <laughs> you don't have the names? I, I am happy that we have, we have uh, uh, such an audience to address <laughs> this morning because I'm sure that on the minds of many of, of, the, of, of the people who will be looking at, I mean, watching us today, uh, will be as to whether or not um, the talk around the GPS uh, <laughs> uh, being better than what we have ever seen in Germany and US uh, is indeed true, and whether 15 million Ghana cities was uh, given just to a crony uh, so that an already existing Google map. Are you set on your own agenda? No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I'm happy we have that audience, and I'm sure that. They, they, they will be interested in finding answers. I mean, for example, I don't know... So let's, I let's, so let's finish with this one. We can get into other matters. Okay. Let's but what I'm saying mm -hmm. is that, what I'm saying is that, first of all, um, the NDC commissioned a team to do a report. Mm -hmm. The MPP commissioned a team to do a report. What beats me is the fascination some media men have about the NDC. Isn't support. that obvious? Because you, you were in power and you lost it. That's so everybody fine. is curious. Is it not interesting that we don't want to know how people win? Do you have any information on that side? Shouldn't we be interested in looking at how people win? So for now, this is what we have. What do you know about what we have right now? What I know about what you have is that this is about the fourth time I have heard that people have excerpts of that report. I'm sure you have been following. It doesn't exist? This is about the fourth time people have said they have intercepted the report. And each time, they come up with all kinds of versions. But the NDC has been consistent that it is an internal report. And each time they have brought out their versions, we have realized that those versions never 
are in tandem with what we have. So are you denying this version that we have? You see, let's, 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 let's be very mindful of the, the need to feed our listeners with what is not propaganda that is meant to divert attention from a government that takes taxes from the people. So let's, so let's so settle country, this. Yes, as a what country, we have, what we've put you out. Just, you just read what the former communication minister mm -hmm. said. You just read what the former communication minister said, that he has no knowledge of what they are talking about. Just like the previous... I thought perhaps affairs. because you're also a media man yourself, before you went into parliament, yes. you probably would be familiar with the story. And you've obviously also seen the report, right? I you know the, the content report. of the report? I haven't seen the report. Okay. I have seen excerpts of the report that relate to me, and that is how the party has been handling it. Excerpts of the report that relate to, say, Parliament, they share with you. Excerpts of the report that relate to... It, you don't have the party giving the whole report to everybody. So I take, party, I take it that you haven't seen you this see, angle. You see, the party... The party why, do you, why are you so convinced this is a correct report? Why? Did you help oh, in authoring I, it? I am asking you. No, you are saying I haven't seen this version. So no, you believe I, this version is asking, correct. I am asking. I'm asking. That's why. Why? I'm, did you help to author why it Well, that's why I'm asking the questions. So I'm asking. Have you seen this angle? But your question seems to be premised on the fact that you know for a fact that this is the report. Oh, if I knew for a fact, I probably would not be asking you the questions. Yeah, so I so so, it's, so, it's, it's, so, it's so an, when I make when I make my submission, question I understand. That I, am I understand. But what I'm saying, <laughs> when I make my submission, <laughs> don't 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 make it conclusive that perhaps my submission is based on the fact that I have not seen this report that you believe. Oh, is I the just correct want, report. I want to be sure. Okay, so all. so I'm saying. So that have you seen any report like this? I have seen the first one that was published even before the committee sent their report by the mm -hmm. MPP, uh, 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 what do you call it, allies. I, I, and, and this is, like I said, this is about the fourth time they have come out with a report. And I'm surprised that you in the media are not asking them why do they keep bringing out reports. Well, this one you say, for example, this one Why are you linking it to the MPP? You, you, no, well, I am linking it to the MPP. No, I am linking it to the MPP because you see now we are discussing 50 million Ghana cities that we don't know if we have value for money. We are discussing Hajj, where people who were not Muslims went to Hajj, visa racketeering all over the place, but, but, but and the charges of of of. But of, I've, I've already I've already Delta said forces. that. Remember Delta we, forces. Remember Delta forces. We talk about a remember, lot of issues. You, this you, is what is on the table you, right you, now. So I'm let's finish you, it off. I understand. I don't know why you are not interested in these other matters that involve our taxes. So I'll and give that you also threaten our security. So Delta I'll, forces. I'll give you the opportunity after we discuss what I have tabled. Why and is then that we'll your get priority? Into any other matters. Why is that your because priority? Because new things you don't come want up to every protect day. our resources. New things come up every no, day. No, you don't and want to protect our resources. You I'm don't want to be convinced that the 15 today. million Ghana cities. So you are saying no, that you are saying new. that you've seen other reports, but nothing close to what we put out today. Yes, I have seen okay. excerpts of the report All of right. the NDC. Okay. That is an internal document which we are using. To, to, to reorganize our party. Okay, so it how is about in this? the interest of the opposition to distract and create all manner of reports, and you have been following it. Every so how about this they, angle in the Daily see, Guide about, about a probe uh, of an NDC chairman, one Bismarck Terry Abouate, I think he's in the Eastern region, that he pocketed some one million Ghana cities, which was meant to go into campaigning. Again, why shouldn't we probe the $2.5 million? Oh, is, is, have you cited this? The, the Ghana money, the 2 point. No, I'm talking dollars. about this NDC I don't know money. about this. What I know about okay. is the Ghana money. Okay, all right. You see, so, you see the Ghana, because you and I pay those taxes. So we have, to be, we have to be sure that we have value for money. So you're not, you're not, you're not ready to talk about... Remember when the NDC... You're not, to, you're not ready to talk about your party matters. No, listen. I am ready to talk about my party matters. For example, I'm ready to talk about the reorganization. The fact that we'll be doing new voter registration exercise. The fact that our, our, there are teams going around to, to engage with the party people. I'm ever ready. But, but, you're, not, see, but you're, you're not ready to talk about why you lost the elections and the reports that are coming out. You're not ready to address what is out there. As a party, we are addressing why we lost the, the elections. 
And that is why we commission a report to give us information on why we lost. We have had the answers and we are working on them. Okay. And if you want us to discuss how we are working on them, we'll discuss it. But you see, I just want to remind you, you recall that when the NDC, NPP used to catalyze each other at their party office, those days, some of you in the media said it didn't matter that they were a party in opposition and that we should be concerned about government and how government is using our funds. Why are the standards changing, my dear? Let me come to you. I'm sure you have a, you have a say on this. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess good morning is in order. Uh, good morning to your cherished viewers, particularly those in my constituency, Second D. Uh, it's surprising to me how my brother on the other side wants to set the editorial agenda for Joy FM and determine the subject matter that we ought to discuss. I mean, we had caucus and agreed on the subjects that we're going to discuss this morning. I guess it's not comfortable about anything that relates to the Kwisibocho report, because as far as they are concerned, it's a secret document that nobody on this earth can lay hands on, except those within their party who have access to it. Surprising. I mean, you recall when Daily Guide started serializing portions of the report that they claimed they had intercepted. Uh, NDC vehemently indicated to the people of this country that it was false and that all the statements that were contained in the Syria that Daily Guide was putting out was false. Well, I guess uh, uh, media men didn't go to sleep. And thankfully, yesterday, Joy FM also reported that they had laid hands on aspects of the reports that they put out in the media. And some of the things that are coming out uh, is revealing. Uh, a party that claimed to be the most united party on earth apparently had serious issues within. No, you also, you also had issues. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, nobody so is So all denying. the parties have issues? No, I don't have a problem. Uh, the, the, the issues within the MPP was, was trumpeted for everybody to hear. Uh, they covered this, yes, uh, behaved like ostriches. And it came back to hunt them. All the issues about the disunity in the party that they claimed never existed. Apparently uh, contributed to the elections defeat that they suffered in December 2016. All the issues that he raised about uh, Honorable Omande Boama and their role that they played. Uh, for me, uh, it's really not new. You recall that uh, leading members of the NDC, way before the 2016 general election, mentioned that the president was being managed by people who clearly, uh, in their view, uh, uh, rendered him, uh, if you like, naked. And these are things that have found their way. So I take, it that, you, you, that, I take it that you're believing these stories that are out there, that of the course. party is denying? Of course, because I don't know NDC members to be angels. They are not robots. They are human beings like us. They live within this Ghanaian community. And people have their reports, members of the NDC. So members and of media, the MPP also have their reports? I'm not saying that members of the NDC have MPP have their Are report. you behind the leakage in terms of ha, the NPP? Because it's in your ha, interest, right? How am I going to be behind to the leakage the when, when I'm not a member of the NDC? But you just I said did that not commit. I'm saying that, that to the extent said. that the NDC members are not angels, to the extent that the NDC members who have copies of this report live with us, definitely the report is going to come out. And they are out there, people who have it. Like you are uh, published on your platforms that you have aspect of the report. I do not have any cause to doubt the, the, the existence of the report in your custody. Why, why, why should I? Because I know that these things will definitely come out. They cannot keep it under wraps within their fold forever. Somebody within their fold will definitely release the document. And that is what has appa apparently happened that Daily Guide has been serializing over the years. I haven't seen any inconsistency with the aspect of the report that Daily Guide published relating to uh, uh, the statement by Ababin and Co. that Joy FM has also confirmed per their 
their, their, their copy of the report that they've obtained. You see, look. But if you, if you look, if you look at the angles that are out there today, Daily Guide is pub has published one that says there's a probe of some. Of course, they chair. have done series this of one has disclosures to do with the over the months that is consistent with the report that you put out yesterday. Okay, all and right. Of course, they are continuing to serialize. I would have wished. I don't know the 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 the, the, the bulk of the of the report I would have wished that they just put it all out there so that we all can have access to if it and read you, it for if ourselves. If we were to turn the tables around would you say same if it was the NPP that was doing something like this in opposition would you say that let's publish it let everybody see what's what of course I mean this it? is not the first time that political parties have commissioned uh, uh, committees to investigate the outcome of their electoral uh, 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 losses the NPP did some in the past, in 2008, in 2012. And I do not think that those reports were, were, were made some uh, uh, secret society mm. documents that uh, were, were not Mr. Sweeney, I'll give you the last say by, on this by, one. We'll by, move to by, other by subjects. the media or the Ghanaian public. Have you, have you changed but your mind? Do you, do, you want to, do you want to give us something? On what? On, on the, re the, re the report. I mean, do you, for instance, would you say that, listen, People are guessing. People are coming up with wild yeah, ideas. I was just going to say that it will be so in their own it, interest. So uh -huh, to, to, to put it out there, let's see, there because it looks like stop all we're interested in knowing what's in these reports. I really have no interest whatsoever. You would have been I too. Don't. Well, for, for, for um, me as a person and a member of the NDC, I feel very excited and proud that people are showing that level of concern and interest in the affairs of the NDC. I it just only told you I'm not interested in the, the report. Oh, please, can we allow it? <laughs> what, what do I need an NDC internal report? <laughs> so, so, so why do you keep guessing? It's the media what? that have put it out there, no. and you are denying it. You you see, remember, remember that even before the committee submitted their reports, some of your boys were on Facebook serializing a so-called report. Of course. And, and they have been be doing true. And any time you do that, it is when you have your backs against the wall. Remember the first time they started realizing it? It was when the president plagiarized his speech. So, each time, so, so each why time, don't you change the conversation by putting the report out there once and for all? You see, so he was struggling to talk about their report in 2008 and their report in 2012 because he couldn't boldly say they put it out there. You remember what happened to Dr. Kennedy? Uh, uh, what's the name? Dr. Kennedy. Dr. Kennedy. You remember what happened to him? When he did, to even write a personal, you know, uh, report on what he experienced as campaign coordinator of the 2008 campaign. Remember what they did to him. So well, is it not interesting that they think that it is reasonable now for a party to put out what is meant to be an internal document so that everybody will see. But do you why agree? They, do, would you no, agree that there, they, there, there may be people within the NDC who are leaking these information? What I know and which is the party position is that all these, you know, uh, uh, reports, because now it is more than one, that are circulating in the media space are not reports from the party. That is what I know as the party position. You don't you and don't care about the contents so that you want to cross check what is in that report and what is out there to see if it goes with what is in the report, but you want to just straight away say that it's not from the party. What is in the public domain is something that the NPP used to campaign to win power. And so if they continue to engage in it to seek vindication they are free to do so. But it is not for us to give them that glory. That, you see, they have talked about, consistently talked about uh, people in uh, President Mohammed's government, even when he was in power. It hasn't changed. The Standobes, the uh, Omani Bwames, they have consistently done their propaganda around these people, either due to their own commissions or omissions or acts. But these but are the statements MPP, that are attributed the, to Honorable Babin. Can I, can, I, can I make my point? The MPP, Not the MPP. So I'll give you a last say. I, I wanted to give him the last say, but now that you he's... Remember, you, remember, you remember even the presidential press and how they were handled has been issues that have been discussed and milked by the MPP over the years. So it is not new. 
What is new is that 50 million Ghana cities of tax money has been given to somebody and we don't know if it is value for money. What is new is that people who are not Muslims went to Hajj. Do you know that for, on our for tax a fact? Money. That is reported. Do you, do, you, do you know that for Why a fact? shouldn't we discuss it then and probe it to see if that is factual? You should be able to tell us. But no, I, I, I should, told you I'll give you the opportunity. Your, it is your role. I, I told you that it I'll give you the opportunity. It is your role as to, media. You have to give me something. Then no, no, I can, I can work with it. Something is out there. Some but of the I'll committee give, members the are willing thing. to talk. Some of the board members are willing to talk because so some I'll of us give, are talking with I'll, them. I'll, I'll, so if you are interested, I'll give you the opportunity. The, the, I'll give you the opportunity. But right now, we're dealing with this matter. I'll give you the last thing. 30 seconds on this. You see, I wonder what is fetish about this NDC. But isn't it, I mean, all the isn't it an internal party matter? Really? Of course, it is an internal party matter, but they don't live in isolation. Oh, yeah. They live That's within good. the Ghanaian uh, uh, public space, and they are potentially a government in waiting. So what happens within their fold? Mm. Like what happened when we had issues in our party mm. should be of interest and concern to all of but us. But if you remember, but, you are also but, quite protective. Wait, 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 then. wait, wait. But, but... Oh, to the extent that these matters, <laughs> if you like, weaken their fold the more, uh, what's well, of concern to me? Yeah. Look, all, all right, the statements, it is, the it is indeed a fact. Remains focused. It is indeed a fact that some of the presidential call, people in the media, GBC uh, 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 personnel, were assaulted by Stan Dobe. Is it not true? Oh, you're, you're talking about one person. You're making of course, it sound it, like that you know, is, it was that, the and entire... And that is in the report. That is in the report. Have you seen the reports? As reported by Joy FM. Mm -hmm. So you now <laughs> should, should tell us that? where you... But, well, yes, you now should tell us. Uh, mm. How am I supposed to doubt you? When they give you the report, they will Wait, turn around and let you know and tell, tell you that you have the report. Meanwhile, <laughs> we know where you... They, <laughs> we know they created and gave it to you. Uh, no, no, that, that, that's an allegation thing. that well, you, it's an allegation, you, yes. you, you I, I cannot can't justify that. Did I we can't was here but I, in this country I'm saying it's when not impossible. I've worked in the media and I know how honorable certain reports are leaked. So, 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 so you, got, you actually got documents from, from the opposition? Well, when I was working when in was the media, working. I, used, I got doc, uh, documents from the opposition many times. Mm -hmm. And I got documents from government. And sometimes when the opposition gives you a document, uh, you know, if you, if you understand the dynamics of the media, you know what the agenda is. You know what it wants to counter with that information. Okay. That yes. was your experience. <laughs> Have you experienced well, that? Mommy, yes. The Please phrase, land. the president is naked. When was the first time that it became part of our political conversation? It was when Honorable Bobbin said it. Okay? That if the president is managed by people like Stan Dogbe and Omane Boama, then he is naked. So that's this the public knowledge. Itself. So that's the public knowledge. That's the public knowledge. Public knowledge. So they sit down and craft a report around and assume. Let's change the conversation and, now. And, let's and, talk and about. Want us to believe let, that let's talk the about the school feeding issue, uh, as you know, reported by CTFM online. So we're going to go to the page and then share a bit of the information there with you. Uh, okay. So this is it. There's a, an NPP group that locked. Uh, a, a school up because they were not happy with the way that they were handling the school feeding program. This is captured by uh, CTFM online. It says a pro NPP group calling itself Bema Camp Youth has defended its decision to blatantly close down the Northern Regional Office of the School Feeding Program in Tamale. Chairman of the group, Kamel Yusuf, explained that their protest was necessary due to what they describe as challenges bedeviling the school feeding program under the uh, governing N N NPP. Uh, quotes, the youth has realized that the school feeding program is not going the way we expected. We realize that when we sit down and allow things to go the way they are, the school feeding program will not succeed, particularly in the northern parts of Ghana. When we conducted our investigations, those who have been given the monitoring appointments should be reporting to the minister herself, not the regional coordinator. We also have close to 10 ethnic groups, but the monitoring appointment was given to about five individuals and one ethnic group. We thought that the appointment should have been fairly distributed on quotes. And this is from uh, apparently the leader of this group that is calling itself Bema Kam Group. Now, Fred, I want you to go back to the page because there were other angles to this story. There was a police angle which we would share with you in the while when, when we get that. But I want to start with you because you are close to governments than any of us. 
Why is this happening? Well, You're a lawyer. Yes, I, I believe that this story blo broke a uh, uh, couple of uh, weeks ago, I believe last week, or thereabout, when it was reported that uh, some elements claiming to be NPP people had uh, closed the offices of the regional coordinator of the school feeding program. And this is a sequel to that story indicating the, their so-called justification for the action that they took at that time. I have said consistently that lawlessness should not be countenanced in any shape or form at all, uh, regardless of the players involved. As to whether they are in people or not, I'm not in a position to confirm. But the truth of the matter is that uh, if we all uh, desire to live in a country that uh, operates under the rule of law, proper means ought to be employed to address grievances. Uh, uh, it's exciting for me that at least it doesn't relate directly to the school feeding at the schools, uh, where uh, there's no issue with regards to uh, the, the program itself uh, proceeding with the children enjoying their free meals in school on a daily basis. It is the appointment of some uh, 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 monitoring officers uh, uh, per the story mm. five of them who have allegedly been appointed from one ethnic group that is generating but how, this how disturbing wow. how disturbing is it when the police say that they are not aware of something like that so because if you look at the other angle of the police says resident in Tamale may have good reason to question the competence of police in the northern region given that it only heard about the widely reported raid on the Northern Regional Secretariat of the School Feeding Program Office by a new patriotic party affiliated group only about two days ago. The group, okay, so it gives a background to it, but the police only heard about it. They didn't know. Yeah, uh, of course. I mean, uh, if, if, if uh, it's, it's, it's pretty strange, uh, but I would, without holding brief for the police, surmise that if no report was made to the uh, police uh, administration in the region or in the, the metropolis, there was a possibility that uh, uh, they would not be aware of this happening. Uh, like I said, uh, to the extent that the beneficiaries are still enjoying their meals, uh, 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 it shouldn't so this be is not too a big much deal. of a worry. Uh, so this is not a big deal? Uh, I, 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 I don't think that uh, it, it should be a big deal. Uh, it's not something that can be resolved. I mean, I don't know this the criteria. Yes, that's why I said that, uh, uh, you know, right from the outset, that uh, uh, acts of lawlessness should, 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 should we not be expect, in any way. Should we expect and the party to do something? Because this is, this is definitely linked to the party. It mm -hmm. says a group affiliated to the NPP. You can't deny them now. Well, um, I, I believe that the, you know, security agencies should, should take it up and uh, conduct investigations into this matter and 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 uh, apply sanctions where where appropriate because i mean we we, we cannot continue to entertain these stories uh, you know uh, being banded around so what on, should we on, expect on a, on what in your view and we're not talking politics here we're talking you as a member of parliament what should be done well, I think the security service agencies should act. I mean, uh, the, 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 the details of the story are not really known to me. Uh, unless, of course, uh, my brother would shed some light on it, particularly since he's from that area, without playing political propaganda <laughs> with his uh, <laughs> uh, shedding light on the issue. I mean, for me, the most important thing is that the beneficiaries, who are the school children, have not been affected by this issue or incident that seemed to be happening at the office of the of the regional uh, so uh, secretariat the so um whatever it is that mm. is happening there i think that it should be within the ambit of the minister to uh, get it resolved and resolved expeditiously Mr. Sweeney, this is supposed to happen in your backyard yeah um maybe if you permit me i want you to uh, look at two pictures before uh, we continue and maybe you can describe what you see uh, since we can upload it um, uh, you may want to look at the quantity of food that is on you know and then look at uh, the students 
Okay, so the, the, the picture that you've given me mm -hmm. is uh, food that's been shared in plates. Mm -hmm. And this is, I want to believe, is wachi. Mm -hmm. Okay, but this is wachi with nothing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And, 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 and wachi with nothing. Now, tell me, is this how much food you will serve your child at home? Is this food you will want your child to eat? What's your point? Is it food? I, I, just, I just want you to answer. If this, if, if, because I know you are a mother. Is this food you will want? You'll be very happy that your, uh, your <laughs> government is giving your child. Obviously not. Thank you. Now, that's another But where, where was this taking from? <laughs> Did, is this a place you want your children? Let me, to let me. If you don't mind, can yeah. I can I get a call to upload this so that everybody can no see problem. what I'm fine. what, what, yes, what yes, we're watching? Yes, okay, yes, but yes. give me the background yes. to what you've so, given me. So you me. see, what school is this, by the way? Um, I'll find the name of the school, but uh, you can see. Can you but this is but you can see this is, is Tamale. This, this is Tamale. Can this you imagine? Tamale. But you have the children. You, you there. put out information. You have out. the no, children. I don't have a problem. There. I mean, I do not have any basis to now challenge yeah so picture. when they upload it but you can challenge no, it wait, no when they it's, upload it's, it's, it no, please it's, when it's important that we do this thing you see uh, do, if do you I have want the floor to put he does. some information let, let, okay, out let, there let, in hey. the public domain <laughs> you should be able in the interest of the nation that we are all being can i can i have my to he had, he had all the, the time i hope you won't location. say that we are out of time all right thank you please go ahead thank you please go on so you see um I don't know what the, the interest in the school feeding program, especially in the northern region by leaders of the MPP is. I wonder if their interest is to ensure that such a laudable policy indeed leads to, you know, students being fed adequately so that they can have the, 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 the state of mind that will allow them to study, or it is just intended uh, uh, to, to, to make people rich. It seems to me that there is some motivation to rip the system in a way that will benefit uh, the, the actors involved in, in, in the whole setup. I say so because you recall that the fight between the minister Honorable Otiko Java and the MPP Northern Regional Chairman Bugri Nabo started because of this school feeding program. When Otiko Java visited the area and Bugri Nabo and others went to attack her over who to appoint as the, 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 the one in charge of the school feeding program in that locality. That was the beginning of the problems related to school feeding program in the northern region. Mm -hmm. Otiko Jaba and Bugri Nabo traded insults all over, and that was when she was accused of taking goats. Uh, and, and I mean, she accused uh, uh, Bugri Nabo of taking goats to get people appointed as DCs, and he also, you know, made other uh, allegations. So what now, what eventually, the woman who the Northern Regional Chairman was against got the job as the boss of school feeding program. And some thugs of, or, you know, uh, 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 members of the MPP who perhaps by the development may not be happy with that appointment and side with the Northern Regional Chairman decided to on their own go and lock up the, the, the office of, of, of this lady who we are told, as the tradition in the party, made a lot of sacrifices and contributions to the party. So what are you saying? That's we're how we're they get seeing it. this is Bugri uh, uh, Otiko Jaba playing out here. And now the person appointed, I've forgotten her name, she owns a restaurant in the, in the, in, in, in the municipality, uh, Taco Rabama. You know, and I hear is that's it affecting, where... Is it affecting the, the schools in the, in, in the area and, Absolutely. and the school feeding program? Absolutely. In what sense? Absolutely. That is, that is the example, uh, you know, in the picture that I just showed to you. And apart from that, you know, how are they even going to monitor when they are fighting among themselves? The last, I think about two weeks ago, the former regional chairman actually slapped the, the existing regional chairman over these same issues publicly. You know, and it, it was news in Tamale and in the northern region. But you see, 
Why do these people have the audacity to go and lock up a state facility? Because the school feeding program offers is a state, you know, uh, 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 run program. They have that audacity because they have heard only last week that about 13 people who even went to a security zone to beat up a security coordinator was taken to court and slapped on the arrest. And as their leader told us only this week, they knew their charges before they even went to the court. From, you know, Th this uh, is something handling, you've been wanting to talk from about. No, no, no. You see, it is related. Let's not, let's, let's not reduce it to just politics. Let's, let's, you see, we are all concerned about the security of this country. So if you have people in a party who can misbehave like the way the Delta forces misbehave, first we had the court one. When they manhandled the judge and disrupted court proceedings, those people were set to go because we are told the attorney general has no evidence, and so they filed a nally prosecutor. Now we thought that those who beat up the security man, that video is on YouTube, will be used as an example to deter others from engaging in what these boys in Tamale did. But what did we see? They changed the charges again. That is political, I don't know how to even call it. They are simply nurturing violence and disrespect to the rule of law. And I don't think that you are safe. And that is why you should be concerned that people will have that audacity and get political support why, why am I not to get safe? away. You never know when those groups will not be happy about what you do or say on this set That's and come scary. to your house. You're or scaring come, me. Or come here because they have been here before even when they were in opposition. I'm sure you remember. Even when they were in opposition, they had the audacity to come here. And you never know what you will say again and do. And they will come here. Especially now Let that they have that support, that their government is in power, mm -hmm. and they have examples of how people have done such acts and have gotten away with it. That's why you are not safe. That's why you should be worried. That's why you should insist with me that the government must do something about this. What, what should they be doing? What people exactly? who engage in these things must not, must not just be treated as party boys who have to be protected. You're, going back, to, handled, you're going back to parliament today, correct? Yes. Is this something that you intend raising? I mean, we in the minority have raised these issues many times. But then again, when we do, then it, be, it at our friends in the media tend to, to, to reduce it to just the NDC MPP politics. I mean, remember it started with a security officer manhandled at the Flagstaff House. With somebody who himself didn't want it. to go ahead. It doesn't matter. It, it, that was a crime. That was criminal. And he didn't have to take his personal you know, uh, support for the issue to be, to be dealt with. So how, how could they have and proceeded without him? And you see, that was, that was a security zone. Mm. And we let's raised it on the back. floor. How could let's they have proceeded back. without him? Okay, so... Um, how couldn't we have? How could they proceed without him? How couldn't we okay, have? Okay, he's what, a lawyer. What so, is mm. the basis of the charge? Who is going to be the witness for the prosecution? First of all, let me... I'm not a lawyer. A, does it matter that there's a video? I am not a lawyer. I am not a lawyer. The video but. needs to be tendered into evidence. I am not a lawyer. They need to be a complainant. You see, I'm fantastic. So, so what is it that you're talking... You see, you see look, let me, look, let me, let me answer look, your question. Yeah, let me, uh, you ask, uh, I was on the uh, floor and you asked your question. Really? Let me answer you. You are a lawyer, so don't do this to yourself. Because clients who will want to perhaps get your services will want to know you really understand the issues. Of course I, I mean, do. You have a security zone, the Flagstaff House, the presidency. People invade that place, manhandle somebody, and then there is a video evidence of that. And the person who was manhandled says he's not interested. And the state cannot prosecute it. The state cannot protect the Flagstaff House so that people don't invade there and, and do the kind of things that they did. Okay. Is, is the Flagstaff sure under investigation? Please, let's... Uh, <laughs> is the Flagstaff under investigation? What did the Interior Minister tell us in the Parliament? Issue, the Interior look, Minister look, said look, they could listen, not find the people. Terrorists could have been there. Let, let's give him the opportunity. They could have been terrorists. professional competencies <laughs> on the line. Okay, you did. Look, no, by wait. playing politics with it. Wait. You are the one who is playing politics with this and everything. Nobody, okay would endorse, in his right senses, would endorse violence. And I have consistently, and I've heard people within the party, including the president himself, condemn acts that are perpetrated by people who are supposedly 
MPP people. Okay. Now, what was the issue with respect to the Flagstaff House incident? Yes. Some hoodlums went there and attacked the gentleman, Nankabus. They assaulted this person. So in any prosecution, he is the complainant. And it's important that you have the complainant giving evidence regarding the charge that has been leveled against whoever the perpetrators of the crime on his person is. If you do not have the complainant, you cannot prosecute. Mm. All right. Okay? I, Please. I, I, I promise I was going to give a, a minute to you each on any other matters. But before that, the picture is I'm up. What you were sharing with me ask your uh, a, a ask while your ago. NDC I am shocked that Let's that ask, is the only ask way. Your NDC lawyer. That is you the only the, way. I am shocked that is the your, only way them. a prosecution can be done. Absolutely. Let's take a look matter. at ask let, them. Let's take a look at the picture. Let's take a look at the picture that you showed me. Mr. Mesa, you were not you were not watching. So this is it. This is what you were showing me. Right. About the food that was that was distributed. But was this was in your constituency? or this was in Tamale? It is in Tamale. It's in Tamale. And, mm. uh, you know, and, and that is why I am saying that all these fights, you know, uh, are leading to a situation where the children are not enjoying the benefits of this well-intended program. And the way to deal with these fights is for the states to exercise the authority that it has been given, even if it has to check its own supporters. Mm. All right. It's available, it happened. I mean, where, and, and people had to fly from Accra to go and, and engage and pamper these, these people. And they, and they all feel that the way to get what they want, you know, done for them in this government is to resort to this, you know, unacceptable ways. Is this strategy new? This strategy is not new, is it? Well, I guess it is that not. Today, all the sides have failed. All the sides have failed. It, the is, have failed to it is only peculiar it. to the and MPP. That's why they are angels. They just came from. Up. Okay, Mom, so why did we change? As, as in, so why did we change? Shouldn't we have just maintained what the status quo was? Why I want to. I want to give you. I want to give you a minute each to talk about any other matters. I'll start with you. Well, I mean, uh, to the extent that he did not disclose the particular school where <laughs> this uh, 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 feeding is. So are you denying this because it, he didn't say it's, exactly it's, where it's uh, useful, exactly there? Mm -hmm. okay, for us to provide information. But do you believe this picture, though? Or well, these pictures, I, do I you? I can see uniform of children who <laughs> clearly the uniform looks Ghanaian to me. Uh, I do not have any basis. You see, look, and I say so. So you're because, denying that this is school no, feeding? No, wait, wait. No, not at all. I do not know. But I'm saying that it is useful for a member of parliament providing this information to give some sense of accuracy with a view to helping to improve whatever that the children are enjoying. But if you put it out there without more, then what is it that you want to achieve? Clearly. It's mischief mm. and nothing else. You know, there was but is that the way that we want to build our country? There was another worrying, uh, you know, situation embedded in that story. I would not be happy if story. my children were having this meal. Fantastic. And so I'm That's interested, good. okay, in ensuring that the feeding or the kind of food that is fed to any Ghanaian child is one that is worthy of, of human consumption. But, you know, one of the things... Okay, he, so what, it's useful the... to provide details to... Things like this, so that the authorities can, because it mm. fall, you know. That's a good point. Some, That's a good point. There is some school feeding contractor who wants to enrich, like you said, and want to shortchange the system. And this cannot, under any stretch of the imagination, be acceptable. Mm. So and let's see, provide that is why he makes a good information. Point. I agree. So he that people can take about it up the, and the act. need for the location. So would you? Absolutely. So would you give us more information then? They are, you, you, you just read the story. One of the fights, you know, uh, has to do with uh, the appointment of those who are supposed to monitor. Mm. It tells you that if we have a competent regime in place, they will not be engaging in fights. They will be appointing the right people who will be doing the monitoring for these to be corrected. But if you have yeah, an when, incompetent when you regime, you know that uh, in place, people that's what you will get. Ethnic there was Cut. The, there was that are objecting to the persons who have been appointed I, you know, that, I was, I was that, gonna i was gonna is touch that, is that is that incompetence i was gonna touch on that i was gonna on, touch on, on the government 
on the ethnicity let's, let's do this. bit about it. How, I mean, you are in the area. How do we ensure that this is not, you know, blown out in terms of the ethnicity bit of the information? The well, fact that there's only one ethnic group that I've is not cooking. Checked, I've not checked the allegation, but then again... Yet you are finding it. How am I finding By it? By saying that people who are engaging in that kind of propaganda... Can we, can we, can we, can we, can That's what you said. Can we please allow him to... Yeah, Why are you so ahead. agitated? Please I'm calm not. down. You're in government. You are supposed to have a clear head to deliver I'm not to the satisfaction of the people. Of course. So calm down. So and the, please help the evidence is How clear do we the ensure that they have made the, a particular business. allegation that has to do with the people who are appointed to, to monitor. And they claim that they come from a particular or one mm -hmm. uh, ethnic group. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying I don't have evidence of that allegation okay. they have would you, made. Would you do some checks Can for I finish? Us, Can I finish? So when he jumps in to say that and I'm fanning. No, 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 no. Uh, I, this I is a particular thing. My yeah, so this is a particular thing that I say I don't have evidence to that allegation that those are pointed. But what I'm saying is that if we didn't have that in the past, I'm wondering why we do now such a situation, with such so an that, allegation so in the past. So that's why, that's why, as one of the only, MPs in the area, my only, we're, we're asking you to, you know, to do some checks for us. My only hope is that they are not learning from the president. How do you mean? If it is true that they are appointing from one uh, majority of the people from one ethnic group, I I just hope that they are learning. But how do you mean? Because I, I, well, how do you mean by the statement that you've just? I just hope. Just I'm made. sure that you 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 pride yourself of having discerning listeners and viewers, and and I'm sure they understand what I mean. That I hope they are not learning from the press. But I can't I can't let it go like that. I just hope because I don't understand what you've just said. I just hope that they are not, they are not, they are not, it is not true. I mean, if it is true but that is they that, are is appointing. Is the president, hang on, see, is the president true, appointing from one ethnic, you know, group? Is that what you're alleging? He's not doing that. But the tilt is interesting for anyone who is observant and cares. I want us to, and, and I'm just going to leave it, leave it at that. I want us to talk about, you were saying something about Hajj, and that will be the last thing that we'll discuss. <laughs> you know, that they um, sent people who are not Muslims to Mecca. Well, that, what for? That's what we are all, you know, uh, uh, baffled by. I don't know why uh, people who were not Muslims will go uh, on that journey. But the reports uh, coming from within the board, you know, suggest that uh, the board members took some friends who were not Muslims to, to, to Hajj. The reports also say, again, for that I hear there is even a report at the Nima police station, and it's not far from you, you can check, where one of the communication members took monies from would-be pilgrims and could not facilitate their trip, and it has become an issue that the Nima police station is handling. And so far, I understand he has even gone to uh, pay part of the money he took from these people. I mean, a religious organization that is supposed to, 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 to facilitate and, and make it easy for Muslims to, to, to uh, 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 uphold one of the uh, five pillars of Islam is, is run in the manner that it was run last year. Remember, we also have situations where we are told that uh, uh, the, the one of the Hajj agents, you know, actually beat up another board member because the board member slapped his wife and all kinds of problems. And, 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 and I think that it does not pretend well for, for, for the organization of Hajj. And the way the previous government handled Hajj <laughs> is, is, on, is, is on peril. And people <laughs> who, you know, saw how Hajj was organized before <laughs> 2008 when I was a reporter and people used to sleep around the civil aviation area just on the road and attend to nature's call there and how the transformation started from 2009 till about 2016 will be very worried and disappointed and should be okay. so, that, uh, so right. that together we can call on the government. I mean, for the first time since 2009, a flight, that is the first flight that was supposed to leave uh, with pilgrims, delayed for 24 hours, and, and the vice president who went to see the pilgrims off had to be caught up in Tamale to personally intervene for that okay. issue to be resolved. All right.
Thank you very much. Simply unacceptable. All right. I, and that I is not a competent you, regime that we voted fair, for. I want to be fair. So if there's anything you want to say following what, is, what the, the things he said. Look, any, any, any problem with an organization of any event, any event is unacceptable. And I'm not interested in political equalization. Because it doesn't help in the discourse. But we all live in this country and nobody can sincerely say that this is the only year between 2009 and 2016 that we had problems with Hajj. Okay. I cannot confirm the incidents that are contained in the report. And if they are true, indeed, then it's a cause for worry and that uh, appropriate investigations should be conducted to establish uh, its, its uh, truthfulness or otherwise. But I would be extremely surprised if anybody who is not a Muslim would want to go for Hajj. To go and do what? It's not like Saudi yeah. Arabia is a holiday destination that people would want to go and have fun. They don't even drink a beer in that country. <laughs> so why would you want to go there? And that's the only reason why you want to go. That's the only reason why somebody would want to go to some vacation, vacation for destination to drink beer. And have some time. Uh, Al Hassan Sin is member oh, of parliament please. for Tamil I don't Lord. drink beer, but I go on holiday. There's a lot of beer on the way to parliament. <laughs> that's where they are headed. Thank you, gentlemen, for your time on the show this morning.